week from what happened tonight, that's the perfect response to what happened to the defeat against Arsenal from the team that we really wanted to see. Yeah, if you see everything in the perspective of a result, yeah, yeah, after a defeat we bounce back, yeah. But I think with the performance in in Arsenal, I, I, I was happy. We make mistakes. We have to work on those mistakes. And but now twice uh, we had good performance and two good results. Yeah. Phil, um, a lot of managers complain about the fixture schedule. Many German managers, many people. A lot of managers complain about the fixture schedule, cramped, uh, play weakened teams in the cup competitions. You're clearly setting your stall down to win a cup competition with the teams you're picking. Is that because you know how vital it is for the project you're building here? How vital that first trophy could be for everything? As well, but also I don't complain. Uh, we know what the fixture schedule, what it is. We have to deal with this. As clubs, we have to set squads, and squads are big and big enough to deal with it. And I think players like to play, and you can build and construct a good team when you play often. And in my perspective, when you play often the same, you're getting the routines in. Um, for two Brazilians to score and play really well on a cold, wet Manchester night, how impressed were you with your Brazilian? Uh, it's no Copacabana, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think uh, uh, so. We had three Brazilian goal scorers because uh, Fred was the 3 0. Uh, um, so I was pleased with their performance. I, I, I have to say, I was pleased with the performance from the team in the first 60 minutes. Um, I think we uh, played in opponent's half, we stayed in opponent's half apart from one big chance, what we concede, and there was a moment of concentration, lack of concentration, and we have to work on that point, uh, that cost us, uh, I think, the game against Arsenal, and uh, today we didn't punish, get punished, but yeah, we have to work on that. Uh, because otherwise, uh, just before half time, you're going with one nil down in the dressing room, and you actually you had to be up with minimum two three nil, and so that's a point of criticism. But for the rest, I think in the performance, the way we played, the formations uh, b between the lines, the movement, the getting behind the lines was was quite well, and the creating the chances. Ian. Uh, Eric, whenever you sign a player, you obviously expect him to be good. But did you think Casemiro could have this impact on English on English football? He's never played in England before. Um, he really seems to be sort of taking the game by, by taking a stranglehold on the game at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> After what you can say, yeah. Uh, uh, but you, I expected, yeah, uh, because when you see his profile, if you see his performances in the last years. Uh, for Real Madrid, uh, that is magnificent. And uh, they play in such a high level. They uh, win uh, four or five Champions Leagues. So that is the highest trophy you can win in in club football. So um, and he, he had such a massive impact. And I think the first one who was always in the starting eleven uh, was always Casemiro for every manager in Real Madrid. So yeah, then uh, you can. Uh, you understand um, that he also will have that impact in English football. Uh, last question, Michael. Um, I think you said during the week you wanted Anthony to be more direct with his dribbling. Do you think that he's starting to get that message on board a little bit? And did you see any of that tonight? I have some longer experience with him, and we have to challenge him. And um, uh, and if we challenge him, um, yeah, he, he he can adapt. He can adjust his game. And that is what you have to do, and definitely, it's um, he has to be more variable, uh, more dynamic. But therefore, also he needs his teammates, and um, he needs his teammates around him. But also, how to use your teammates, and uh, he have to to work on that. And he's investing in this moment in it, and you see the progress. Uh, but still, I think there is uh, still a lot of room for improvement. Yeah. Just looking on Christian Eriksen. What was his injury? I assume it was a tackle from Andy Carroll. Does it look like a bad one? Or? It's always difficult to say. Um, in this moment, so short after came finish. But it's um, it's an ankle. 
and we have to see uh, what is the uh, what is the diagnosis. So we are, yeah, that cost us minimum 24 hours before we know that, and, and then I can say more. Um, no, we're provided, We're seeking to provide a player for, for Monday. Okay. Yeah. Okay.